this man who has done so much, not just for rugby, not just Auckland, the Blues, the All Blacks, but the wider community in this city. A great supporter of some very worthy causes, unfailingly pleasant to deal with. A real gentleman of the game, not just a great rugby player, a great citizen, Kevin Mialamu. First jersey I got to share with you today, team, uh, will be my um, first 15 jersey. Old Eddie College, I was lucky enough to play fourth form all the way through to seventh form. This was given to me by a, a good coach and a good friend of mine, uh, Jeff Moon, who's no longer with us, but um, you know he's got, a, he's got a special place in my heart and, uh, and I know in a lot of other players' hearts as well. But he would always call me the seven horse and uh, this, this is why he's given me this jersey. It was actually Jeff Moon that um, suggested to me that I'm not going to go any further uh, in, in rugby if I stay at seven because I wasn't getting any taller. So um, yeah, he was the one that helped me transition uh, positionally and um, helped me, taught me how to throw properly. So Jeff was a big influence in me moving to hooker. Yeah, when he suggested going into the front row, I was, I was quite stunned actually, because when you think about front rowers, you have this picture in your head of like um, big, strong men or athletes, and I didn't think I fit the profile. And so when I look at it now, um, it was quite revolutionary for him to actually think that um, I could play in that position. It took me a long time to actually learn how to scrum properly, so I had a, for the first couple of years, my neck was, I was doing a lot of this. Neck was quite stiff for the first couple of years. I played alongside my brother as well, so this jersey is important to me because it's where I went to school. I was lucky enough to be a head boy at Old Eddie College as well. And, you know, to see our team um, still doing well in the, in the A grade, I'm, I'm really proud of how far they've come as well. So I'll always savor this jersey. I was lucky enough to play for play seniors for Odahu. When I used to travel around the world, somewhere I picked up the nickname uh, the Odahu Nugget and it stuck with me. I've met people in Rome before when I'm walking around the Colosseum and uh, uh, people shouting out, oh, the Odahu Nugget. Well, Kiwis, of course, but um, yeah, it's just amazing to think that um, when you get nicknames, they stick. One of my most awesome memories was being able to win the championship in 2000 with um, the Odahu Rugby Club. I was playing alongside my brother again, so that, that was a really proud moment for us. My brother was always my protector. He's still a protector today. You know, it's funny how I always saw him on the field and, and in life as a protector, but now that's what he does. That's his profession. It was awesome to play alongside brother. Always felt safe, and um, we always had a, a great connection and bond on the field as well. You know, we were there representing where we came from. We had a strong identity. We are from the south. We wanted to be strong. We wanted to be... Uh, feel us on, on the field and I think we were able to in those couple of years that we were we played together. Mialamu, look at the pass! Kevin Mialamu dragging him there and I think he's made it he has. Kevin Mialamu, we're going to see and hear a lot more about this guy. A very special jersey to me. If I can think about uh, my first year playing for Auckland, I can still remember as a youngster watching uh, Sir Michael Jones um, scoring tries at the 1987 World Cup and uh, to be named alongside him to play in the 99 um, NPC. I was in a lot of war going to trainings. I was always um, at my best because I knew that's, that's what it uh, took to be able to play alongside players that played in this jersey. And I understood um, the legacy that, that, that came before me, so that was really important for me that when I had a chance to wear this jersey, I, I wanted to fill it well. I think four, four championships in this jersey. Uh, a lot of good people that I've played alongside in this jersey as well. I'm born and raised in Tokoro, and I'm proud of where I come from, but um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a proud Aucklander. So uh, this jersey I'm lucky enough to share with you. Sorry, it's in a big frame, but um, it's another jersey that means a lot to me. Uh, it's my 50th jersey I played for the Blues. I think to be able to have some quotes from my uh, teammates, from my, from my good friends, um, it's quite special when you, when you get to see what they, how they feel about you and what uh, you were lucky enough to achieve with them. You know, we've got uh, Curtis Hoyu on here as well, a good friend of mine that's uh, not, no longer with us. Growing up, I loved watching the Blues, especially, you know, the, winning the first two titles. It was the way they did it, the way they played. Um, exciting brand of rugby, and that's why I wanted to be able to play in this jersey and do the same thing as, as my Auckland jersey, as my All Black jersey, and fill the jersey as well. The Blues have won the Super 12 title in 2003. Oh, a huge year for me. We were lucky enough to have Peter Sloan was our, our coach and so was and Ted had come on board as well. We had a, we had a good coaching group, but uh, we had a, a really exciting team. And I think at the head of that was uh, Xavier Rush. 
uh, no man that led our team very well that year. But yeah, we were, we were an exciting team. We played, um, even looking at our Blues now, we played a similar style, which was um, keeping that ball alive, good interplay from forwards and backs. It'd be really good rugby to watch, quite exciting. That being a big part of my life, I played a lot of games for the Blues. You go through the ups and downs, and you just got to keep getting up and, get, and giving your best. And that's what I always look to do, and especially this jersey, but in all the jerseys that I played, I played in. Now that I've finished, you really look back on, and when you see these things, you feel really proud to be able to share these moments, uh, not only with family, but with guys on the field. You pretty much go to war with them. You leave everything on the field, you walk off, uh, whether you win or lose, and uh, you go back and you know that next week you've got another opportunity to do that again. Well, team, that's my Jersey Tales. Thanks for letting me share it.